This is Nuance Magazine. <laughs> this is Dreamer Boy. This is Worldwide. Justice Slump. Worldwide. This is 2021. Worldwide. This is... That's a clap. Hey everybody, welcome back to In Good Taste. Uh, I'm here with a very special guest and a dear friend of mine, Zach, <laughs> aka Dreamer Boy. Uh, his newest record is All The Ways We Are Together, and he is about to go out on his first headlining tour. Welcome to the show, Zach. Thanks. Man, thanks so much for having me. Um, this is honestly a dream come true to be in the culinary world. Come on. Dude, let's cheers it up real cheers. quick, you know? Cheers. Welcome. Mm. So, yeah, some buttery no, notes in there. A little buttery. <laughs> mm. Tonight we're going to be doing ratatouille. This is one of my all-time favorite dishes. Great and movie too. My cat is named Remy for a reason. Oh, She's my little chef. Cue to slide of Remy picture. I want to be your little chef. You can be my little chef. <laughs> uh, this is one of my all-time favorite dishes. It is so simple to make. You're going to find out just how simple. Zach's never even eaten ratatouille, mm -hmm. which is a big, big win for me because I'm going to get to teach you how to do it. And it's so simple, and everybody at home should make this. You are going to impress people. You are going to get so much. <laughs> Now that we're past that, uh, we got the oven preheating. Uh, we're gonna slice up some veggies. You ready? Yeah, let's let's get slicing. Um, slicing and dicing. One of the things that I love most about ratatouille is it does require a little bit of prep work, and there is some like minor skills involved. But really, it's like something that anybody can make at home, and it's so beautiful. Like, and it's vegetarian. Mm. We're gonna add sausage, but. It's vegetarian, so you can serve like any of your friends, like oh, vegans, please, vegetarians, yeah. anybody can be so stoked with this, and it's like a centerpiece. So we're gonna start by uh, opening up some bell peppers here. So how I like to do it, Zach, is we're gonna cut off the top, boom, decapitated, and then the bottom, foot right off. So now when you open it up, you see those little ribs down the side. We're just gonna go straight down there, straight down there, straight down there. And then right then, we got this one. This little guy should pop out right in the center, just like that. Show me what you got. Just pull on it a little bit. Get those, get those little ribs out. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. There we go. I'm getting the ribs out. Zing! <laughs> there we are. We're here, folks. <laughs> Welcome to In Good Taste. Okay, so look, you might have a little bit of extra left there, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna shave that back a little bit. Flat knife, just like that. Okay, cut that in half, yeah, cut that in half. Nice. Oh, you're looking good, though. You barely got any shaving to do. We're looking That's, good? Yeah, you're looking dialed. Beautiful. I'm just gonna, yeah, maybe a little yeah, shave. Yeah, why not? Or a little peel. Honestly, whatever gets the job done, you know, however you feel about it. Yeah. Also, a lot of people time. discard these, these little ends. Don't do that. Don't discard it. Why? Why would you discard it? It's perfectly good pepper. Yeah, no, we don't want to be wasteful. Absolutely not. We're saving every part of the pepper. All right, so we're, we're situating. Right in. Just stick them in. Did you take? Did you de-stem yours? De-stem? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Just just give me a yank. Yeah. Whatever. Oh. Look. I'll, at the end of the day, this is all going in a blender. So keep oh, that in mind. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. this is going in the blend. Man, they don't even know what's in there in store for. They don't even know. You gotta be nice to them. It's made with love. Well, yeah, you gotta look. That's like a scientifically proven fact. If you speak nicely to like your plants as they grow, let's go. Yeah, it's clean. They they grow better if you speak nicely to them. So I feel the same way about cooking. Speak nice to the food when you make it. Hundred percent. Boom. Look at all the colors. How beautiful is that? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going in with some tomatoes. This is the wonderful part about being in Tennessee in August is that the tomatoes are incredibly in season. So these are some really good heirloom tomatoes. Fun fact. Yeah, fun fact. It's also the hottest day of the year today. Like, I think they like beefed over the radio and they were like, don't go outside, you're gonna die. It's too hot. 
Yeah, we are literally doing this on the hottest day of the year. So just, yeah, just take off that little top, just like Gail, and then cut them in half. Take off the bottom too? No, I don't. It's right at the bottom. I like that little, what would you call that? It's just, it's just, you know, okay. like a, like a cloakia. No, it's just, it's just, it's <laughs> natural character. You know? A little, a little tomato cloakia. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that is. A cloakia is like what uh, birds have, and they just, uh, or fish. It's just like uh, poop, pee, and reproductive all in one hole. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> like a little cloakia. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, it makes me want to eat that. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Okay, and then the last thing is we're going to get a little onion. Just one onion. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna take care of the onion. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got, we got it. Yeah, don't worry. But I'll you can peel off. these two. You can peel them. Oh, okay, okay. We gotta get the, we gotta get the peels off. Cool. Uh, so basically, what we're doing here is we're creating uh, the song. <laughs> Why is that funny, Zach? Creation. No, I'm, just thinking, I'm thinking back. You think about Clokia? <laughs> mind on the Clokia. <laughs> get your mind out of the gutter, Zach. God. Nice little layer. There we go. Boom. Very smooth. Okay. So that is all the ingredients we need to roast. So we're gonna throw all this in the oven, which has been preheated to about 400 degrees. We're gonna douse it with a, just a tiny bit of neutral oil. I've talked about neutral oil on this show before. I love neutral oil. Neutral oil is the way to go, so do that. What's the difference between the different oils? Okay, so most of the time, People just have uh, olive oil in their kitchen, which is great. Olive oil is amazing. But the problem with olive oil is that when you try to like cook with it on the stove top or you're frying anything, it comes off like the smoke point is much lower. Gotcha. I think it's like 325. So anytime you try to fry something or do something like at high heat with olive oil, it'll burn and just kind of leaves like a bad flavor. So neutral oils like grapeseed oil, avocado oil, canola, vegetable oil, they work better at high heats like what we're doing with those. So. Anytime you fry or anytime you're doing like anything that's gonna be at high heat, neutral oil, not olive oil. Let's go. Yeah. Do you know your shit? I mean, you know, I know a little bit. Real, real quick, I, d I just wanna point out that the, the eggplant has been memed. So, I mean, sure. it has been given a yeah. uh, unfair, I think, like, uh, yeah. meme what, perception. What about that feels phallic to you? Nothing. Nothing. I look at this, this and I think, I think, I think, I think that, wow, what a beautiful vegetable. <laughs> what a beautiful vegetable. And honestly, I will say, in the past month or two, I've been eating more eggplant. Eggplant stove. And see, I think that like, what, what people don't realize is that this, this vegetable, it's so much more than a meat. Yeah. It really is. Normalize, normalize zucchinis. That's all I'm trying to say. Like, okay. <laughs> We need more acceptance for the zucchinis. Not Normal. all of those can be eggplants. <laughs> Normalize zucchini. Yeah, yeah, we're about zucchini. Okay, what are we that being do? said, we're gonna do and use what's called a mandolin. So this is, let's go ahead and top your stuff off and bottom your stuff off right there, boom. We're gonna use what's called a mandolin, which is one of the more dangerous culinary instruments you can get into, for sure, but also one of the more useful. So otherwise, what we would be doing right here is we would be like, Slicing up every single slice to be exactly like an eighth of an inch. Like thing. what is it? Like 1940? Like you know, no, yeah, we're not gonna do that. that. No, we're not gonna do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our fancy schmancy mandolin, and we're gonna put that right there. Well, of course we need to unlock it. Look at that thing. Yeah, yeah. This is a nice one. It's got little suction cups and stuff. But basically, what this does is it normalizes the size of every single cut so that they're all the same. Beautiful. Yeah, and like this is a fancy one that I have a nice pump on, but like normally you gotta like slice your fingers across. So this one's a little bit safer. <coughs> oh, bless you. All right. It's a nice, uh... yeah, so this is what we're gonna be doing for the next uh, you know, 30 minutes or so while you folks at home. Ooh, tight one there. Um, so what, what happens when you have sort of a. Uh, you got the big girth. A larger <laughs> vegetable. When you got the big girth. Uh, the lube is actually, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm a juvenile. Uh, what we're gonna do with this guy to, to kind of make him a little bit uh, more accessible is we're gonna put him into fourths. So we'll take him, 
cut them down long ways, right? And then we're gonna cut them one more time right Wait, in the middle. Let's just show this cross section real quick. Oh yeah, dude. Come Look on. That. See that? You love to see it. That's beautiful. Yeah, man. That's like a pattern. Like I would wear that on a hoodie. You embroidered that. Yo, for sure. <laughs> for sure. With, yo, put that on hoodie, bro. Yo, yo, somebody's gonna steal that. <laughs> Fuck you. I need my money. Uh, okay, now you're ready. So show me what you got. Oh shoot. Okay. I feel like that one episode where like Michael Scott's like not allowed to use the Baylor. <laughs> like that's what this is. So what happened? Okay, so I already, I already messed up. All right, yeah, he just got up and that's no, he's good. And what, where, where is it? Where is it supposed to go after? It's supposed to go out the bottom. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, you're doing great, sweetie. You're doing great. Okay, watch All out. right, people. So we're gonna keep this up for like thirty minutes or so. This is the part when I was, yeah, for 30 minutes. you know, this is the part when I was telling you, this is so easy. Like anybody can do this. And again, if you don't have a mandolin like that, it's just a matter of cutting it into, oh my, I'm just kidding. <laughs> ah! Okay, so you see what we're doing here is we're separating our zucchini, our eggplant, and our um, squash into three separate things. And that's because when it comes time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a beautiful little layering of one eggplant, Share one zucchini, one eggplant, one zucchini, one squash mm -hmm. in a row. And we're gonna circle them around a nice pan and so they make like a really beautiful thing. That's iconic. That's like iconic exactly. ratatouille. That's iconic ratatouille. We would be remiss if we were to not do that for We'd be. So yeah, uh, stick around. We're gonna keep doing this exact same thing for like a while. So uh, once we're done, we'll show you what's next. Okay, so we're about halfway through. We wanna roast these for about, you know, 40 minutes or so. We're about 20 minutes in, and what I'm gonna do now is just remove these uh, tomato skins. A lot of bitterness, a lot of tannins in the tomato skin that we don't necessarily want in our sauce. So I'm just gonna pick those out. You can see I added a uh, jalapeno in there. That was a last minute decision. Uh, I like to live life on the edge. Um, I don't play by the rules. So I put a jalapeno in because I like a little bit of spaz, and I know Zach does too. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, this is so chopping veggies. <laughs> that boy chopping. Okay, now for the fun part. Uh, we've done all the cutting. We've organized them into nice, pretty bowls. And then now we just arrange. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these, mm. one of these, mm. one of these. All right, so like arts and crafts. It's just gonna be really hard to remember, but we're gonna go one, one, one. <sighs> I know, take a deep breath. Yeah. And then we're gonna just set it in the bowl. And at first, it's, it actually is kind of a little hard to get them to stand up, but then you just keep oh, going. Oh, it's vertical. Yeah, it's vertical. Then, okay, so, but then do it eventually when it gets to the top, is it? So we're gonna go from all the way around into the middle, and then once we hit that spot, we're gonna spiral in, and it's gonna create this beautiful little pattern. That's what I'm saying, this is so this, easy. This, this is one Like, it's not heart. hard, but it's like beautiful. When you set this down in the middle of the table, people are gonna be like, yo, you put a lot of fucking effort right here into this. Like, you That's really right. went hard. You're just like, yo, I did this with my hands, and it's for you. Like, cause this is what the nitty gritty of what people need yeah, to see. Yeah, 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 yeah. They need to know. They need to know that the first one is kind of hard, and like, just to, it gets you easier. Keep trying. It does get keep easier. Going. It's a metaphor, yo. Come on, stick with it, baby. Don't give up. Let's yes. Go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Now it's, it gets easy from here. I'm gonna try and pick, you know, relatively. Yeah, and then now the time lapse engages, and you just see us fucking. We're done. Bro, Bobby, Bobby, like that's the thing. I, I never eaten Bobby. I, I just no, I just want to give a shout out to Bobby. I'm talking yeah. about the music, bro. Oh word, hell yeah. I'm saying Bobby, Bobby, me and him spent hours today 
doing shit that is so tedious. Yeah, shout out to Zach. Him and Bob were in the studio from 9 until 6 p.m. today. And then he came straight here and is doing this with me now. That, so not even supposed to be a flex, but like Bob, like I'm just saying, little chef putting in the hours. We burn this house. Okay, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I want to keep with just like this single file thing I got going, or like veer off to the side. Dude, get creative. See, that's the beautiful thing about this is there's absolutely you can't do wrong. Am I? Am I like technically though that you would say that this is like? Oh yeah. I mean, look at it. Tell me how it makes you feel. Y'all want to see this? Dude. Wait, who am I showing? <laughs> Everyone. Look at that. Anyone who'll look. Oh my gosh. Like a flasher in the park. Just anyone who'll look. Not quite what I thought. <laughs> but I guess the point the point is, yes. I feel like... <laughs> dude. I feel like this is... One of those dishes that... That's what I'm saying. It, 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 it makes whoever sees this and is about to eat it like proud of you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a real panty dropper of a meal, 100%. Because like I'm, you, prou I'm proud of us. You should feel proud. This is like hard work. Uh, you're gonna finish mine out too. It's Cause I'm gonna. I'm going in. Here. I'm going in. And I'm gonna look at. Put these me in. Put me in, Coach. I've been waiting for my chance. All right. Come on in here, Slater. Get over here. So our vegetables are nice and roasted. We've got some nice color developing around the outsides. You can see I left the seeds in those jalapenos because I want a little spice. Uh, we're gonna go right now and we're going to uh, put these all in a blender. Sound guy, watch out. The boom mic is in the way. Sound guy! We're gonna take everything that was on our tray and we're gonna put it right in to the blender. Because a lot of these uh, vegetables have a lot of water content anyway. We got some fresh garlic going in. So that's really it. I mean, besides all the stuff that we roasted, it was um, four peppers, three, three uh, tomatoes, and then we're gonna go in with a light smattering of about five or six garlic cloves. That's light for this show, as you guys know. Love me some garlic. But as always, we're gonna smash these cloves before we deposit them. Into the final layer. Yeah. Can, you, can, you, can you play some like dramatic music as I'm like past? It's yeah. the final countdown. We have to strike that. Uh, we we can't afford the licensing rights. Yeah, no, no, just play play some like play some like really cheesy like copyright free music right now. <laughs> Copyright free. Please. Put <laughs> some public domain. Please. I'm going so fast. I'm going to go as fast as I can. Oh my god, I'm going to shoot. Oh, I'm going to go right oh, into the red Oh no! Can you imagine living like during the Dust Bowl? Bang. Back to back like I'm on the cover of Lethal Weapon. <laughs> Bars. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are pretty. Okay, let's put these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't drop that. Just can't have that. Okay. Just imagine. Could you imagine? I just. We would all just like oh, frown and go up the street. I, to get we, everyone would have to take out. Yeah. Right. It's not, it's not, <laughs> not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it. Just restart all that. All right. Yeah, I'm excited we'll to see this blend blend action. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, this, this is what, this is what it matters. Oh uh, okay. So we've got our peppers. We've got our onions. A little one jalapeno. Um, and then our tomatoes, and we've put five or six garlic cloves. Now we just need a little bit of lemon, and then salt and pepper, and a little bit of olive oil. So if you don't know this trick, here's a good trick. Hold your hand right above the lemon as you squeeze it, and then as the seeds come out, you see they'll get trapped right in your little fingies, but it's you handy can dandy still right allow the juice to escape uh, between your fingies, your little digis. That's what they're made for. Yeah. They're very handy. Uh, okay, so then we're just gonna add some salt and some pepper. Zach, do you wanna grab that pepper and, yep. and start putting some of that in there? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I got that good pepper now. <clears throat> just let me know when you're ready. Go. Let me know when. No, just keep going. Oh, Until your arm gets tired. That's <laughs> when. That's the right amount. Sharing the real estate. Get in there. Don't stop on my account. No, you're good. 
There's a reason lemon pepper go together. Like just the way it's smelling right now. Yeah, shut like up. some like someone was doing this and they're like, wings. oh my god, I need to yeah, wait, wings. <laughs> Rick yeah, Ross. exactly, bro. It was Rick Ross. <laughs> Rick it was Ross Rick, invented lemon. It was Rick Ross. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of things to thank Rick Ross for. Rick Ross, please come on the show. The, the, the Maybach music. <laughs> <laughs> lemon pepper wing. <laughs> yes. Bet. <gasps> that should be good. I think we've, we've, we've achieved the okay. proper uh, yeah. pepper ratio. How's that smell? Oh, goodness. Oh. Last thing, always salt. Never forget your salt. So, you about to do a little elbow grease? No, oh, I'm not gonna salt them. They're not. I think he's trademarked that. I think I could get him shot. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I didn't even know if that's like, I didn't know that thing. I don't think it is. I just made that up. <laughs> Uh, okay, that's yeah. it. Be too careful these days. So now we're just gonna put this and puree this, and then we're this gonna magic dying. moment. <laughs> yeah, we gotta... Oh, actually, I did forget one thing. We want a little bit of oil in there. Mm. Now, see, you know what I was talking about? Neutral oil. We want olive oil for this because we want flavor. We get it in there. Yeah, we want flavor on this guy. Uh, you're gonna ask. As hidden. I I'm distracting us from the. <laughs> Always, okay, number one thing, when you're making sauce, you have to taste your sauce. Don't just serve your sauce without tasting it first. Here's a pro tip for tasting things. Don't just dip a spoon in there and then eat off of it, because then it's gross. You're gonna have to stick the spoon back in there. What you do is you open up the back of your hand right there and you dump a little bit of it on. That's a taste. Dump a little bit on. It's a little hot, be careful. You got the spice there. The Woo! spice is there. Definitely the spice is there. Yeah. Okay, knock, knock, knock. Hello. Yeah. So we need a little bit more acid because it's a little spicy. And uh, we also need a little bit more salt. So let's see what I did there now. Our spoon's you know still clean. So you know what? still taste with that. The spice is mainly in the aftertaste. Like a, a, It's kind of sweet when you know oh, yeah. it. And that's the peppers, right? No, that's the jalapeno with the seeds that I left in, right? No, 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 the sweetness. Oh, the sweetness? No, that's probably a little bit of the tomatoes. Yeah, that's um, the tomatoes. I got a little rosé balsamic vinegar. How's that smell? Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll add that. Just need a little bit more acid. Some garlic-infused honey. Woo! Woo! Let's yeah. just see that pour. Not very patient pour. <laughs> yeah, let's just, let's just marvel. Let's marvel at this honey. Just dropping down. Maybe a little comb, who knows? That was sexual. Yeah, that was uh that was satisfying to say the least. It's the payoff we all came here for. So that's a that's a key tip. Always taste your sauce. Like it's never gonna be perfect the first go around. Acid, fat, heat. Salt, acid, fat, heat. Yeah. Salt, acid, fat, heat. I saw yeah. a cookbook called that one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. And I figured I learned everything I needed to know just from the title. Watch the difference that we're about to taste, though. I should do it. All right. Here we go. The suspense is killing us. <laughs> yeah, big difference. This guy right here. Big this difference. This guy. <laughs> yeah, it's night and day how much those like three no, tiny real. little ingredients can affect no, there's, the whole and, and, and there's also like nothing going on. The, in the heat throat. is gone now. It's all balanced out. Yep. So now, here's all we do. But it still has a little bit of the bite that we want. It has just a tiny bit, and that's what I was looking for. All right. So you see, we got about uh, four and a half cups. I want you to pour two of those cups just right on your stuff there. Just right on? Yeah, yeah, and just dis disperse it as much as you can, you know? Okay, a little bit more. It's like one cup. A little bit more? Should yeah. Put it right here. Yeah, put it right in the middle. It'll, sp it'll spread out too as you cook. There Beautiful. you go, sir. Thank you. Let's 
go. Woo, that looks good. Boom, simple as that. Our ratatouille is done. All we need to do now is cook it. So for cooking, we're having this, uh, I have a convection oven, so we're going 375 on a convection oven. If you have just a standard oven, I'd put it in. If y'all could just smell this right now. Smell it. The video could smell it. Right here, 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 come on, here, here. Come, come, come take a smell, Hunter, come on. Come on. Can the mic smell? What do we think? Here we go. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the good stuff. Oh yeah. All right, so we're gonna cover this up. We're gonna cook it for about 30 minutes covered and then about 15 to 20 minutes uncovered. Cradle that loaf, Zach. Cradling. All right, so Zach's cradling a loaf, and then he's gonna slice the loaf he just cradles like we're gonna, we're a gonna, redheaded stepchild. We're gonna do some thick boys, right? Oh, buddy. Like right here? Deliver it to me, yeah. Like an inch? Yeah, yeah, I like that. An inch, an inch is good. Uh, we're making garlic bread. This is the last- Oh shit, I'm cutting this on the table. That's fine. You sure? Yeah, I already did it. You saw it earlier in the episode. I know, but- Yeah, you know, whatever. Just, this, this, it's gorilla style, baby. We're doing this gorilla style. Off road. Um, G. This is the last garlic bread you'll ever have to learn how to make. I'll just tell you that. I mean, you don't ever need to know enough. We're doing some Texas style garlic bread with these with these slices. <laughs> yes, sir. We are. You see it? I see it. I respect it. Eggplant size. Look, <laughs> dude. I just remembered I forgot the vinyl. Dude, it's okay. <laughs> I just remembered. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure they know what it looks like. They've seen it. Anybody watching this, I have an album out. We'll just called... put a video. We'll put a picture of it up. Yeah, I, I have an album out. It's called All the Ways We Are Together. Um, it slaps. Crybaby and Sweatshirt are my two favorite songs. Tell I love me what... that. I love that. Tell me what you guys are in the comments. Yeah, let us know what your favorites are. I feel like to it. I feel like Sweatshirt's kind also, of a deep cut. Am I right? No, I mean any song that isn't a single deep cut in my mind. Sweatshirt is one of those to me. That's one of those like if you know me favorites. Like Thanks. I feel like I feel like it's one of those ones that like we didn't put out as a single. Mm -hmm. It's got a good place in my heart. It feels like the people who like really are listening to the album like it. So that it means a lot to me. Honestly, it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. Dude, love that. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite song? I know it's like they're all your children, but like, what's your favorite? Um, it's probably it's either All or Nothing or, or Sweatshirt I love or that. Cry Baby. I honestly just can't wait to play Cry Baby at shows. Dude, that's insane that you haven't been able to play any of that music. None of it live. None of it. Do you have like a vision for how like everything's gonna go down? Or are you just kind of like trying yeah. to like um, keep yourself open to whatever? So I I'm one of those guys that literally like I I have to like like whenever I like start planning a tour I am in my bedroom like pretending I'm performing it for like thousands of people mm -hmm. like I have to like yeah but that's that's literally like one of the joys of my life is like it's not really even about playing the show it's about like the joy that you actually feel like feeling empowered by like what you're creating, you know? And so I've definitely been in my, you know, in my room trying to just like envision what this tour is gonna be like. And, you know, definitely a song like Cry Baby. I'm like, this is gonna go off live. I know. Yeah. And do, you, do you have any songs from Love Nostalgia on the set list or? A hundred percent. Yeah. I've actually found like this really soft place for Love Nostalgia in my heart recently. Word. Where like, I want to play a lot of Love Nostalgia, honestly. So, I remember, I remember listening to Lavender the first time you ever played it to for me as a demo, and mm -hmm. being just like blown away by the like artistry that you put into that song, and it being so divergent from like a lot of the stuff that I heard from you before. Like, I felt it was like a real pivotal turning point for you as an artist, like to make that song and like express that feeling. Like that was so special for me, and I'm. Like, so happy that you shared that with me and continue to share that with me, so. It was about you. I know. Yeah. Deep down, I always knew that. Yeah, it's, it's just one of those things, you know? Zach, will you grab me that little guy up there at the top? On the top left? <laughs> Which little guy is that? The, not the little guy. The secondary little guy. That guy's pretty cute, isn't he? 
<laughs> okay, so it's the, it's this little guy. That little yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're not, that the non stick little guy. The non stick little guy. All right, we're going to toss it on the stove here. All right. Every good garlic bread starts out with a whole stick of butter. Red pepper flakes. Yes, I stole this from a pizza joint. I'm going to go ahead and confess to you. <laughs> you don't no have this. Way. Yeah, I mean, you don't just go buy this. You take no, this. No, that, that looks like off you from. You take this from Muffs. That's where you yeah, take this Yeah, from. yeah. Exactly. Uh, and then we're going to go in with just like a good old fashioned Italian herb mix here. And um, it's pretty much the base of it. Also, we're going to do a little bit of uh, uh, fresh parsley right at the end. Because you don't want to put the parsley on at the beginning. If you put the parsley on at the beginning, it'll burn. So you put it on at the end. So it's we'll chop end. that up. No, in parsley is like one of those last second garnishes. Pick a buzzer beater. Uh, okay. I have a secret to show you. Come here, come here. This, this is our butter glaze. Tell us what's in the butter glaze. Butter glaze has butter. It's got, it's got butter. <laughs> Loaves of bread <laughs> with some garlic and some butter and some red pepper flakes. Right, no, not that one, the one right below that guy. Should be orange. Can you see him? Oh, yeah, that's your guy. Alright, we're gonna tag team this, ready? Kind of Nickelodeon style. Yeah, hell yeah, get slimed. Get slimed! slimed. About to win that Teen Choice Award. <laughs> Nick, if you're watching us. Yo, me and Josh came on stage. Can you imagine? Yo, we about to get slimed right now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so if, if you have any special effects, just slime us right now. Slime. <laughs> Please just slime us. Just whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna scoop it on and then you're gonna brush it. You ready? Yeah. Oh, dude, you're killing me. It's the best team since, like, Jordan, Jordan and Pivot. We already talked about this. We already talked about We're, we're leaning in heavy to the Jordan. To the basketball purposes. <laughs> We aspire to greatness. Never so. The little guy now he doesn't deserve it. The pip squeak always gets Jordan's last. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. That was me for a couple years there. I was a late bloomer. Dude, this man, if you guys haven't seen Zach Taylor out on the baseball field, Damn. Oh, you right. about to gas me up? Yeah, I'm about to gas him up. If you guys never been to a ball hogs game, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> let's promote the ball hogs. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna uncover those and then they're gonna cook for about 20 minutes. This bread's gonna take about 12 minutes to cook, so we're just gonna let that chill hang out soak right now. Uh, grab yourself a drink, pour up. Come on, here we go. Just be careful. You guys remember in elementary school when you incubated your chicks? Shh, shh, shh. Put them in their bottom shelf? Right, right above their little mommy and their daddy. Oh, we're putting them on top. Oh, yeah. Oh, I will. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Alright, we got some snossages on. Uh, sound guy, give me your beer. Oh, he can't even handle it. <laughs> He's got too much going on. He's got too much going on, man. He's got too much going on. Don't ask him to do more than I got his beer. He's got two hands. I got sound guy's beer. It's just like uh, me or you. You right? have to put liquid in when you're cooking sausage. They need to absorb some liquid, they need to take some shit on. Hazy IPAs are the preferred method of moisture on a sausage. Not too much, just enough to cover the bottom. So we're gonna let these cook for about seven, eight minutes. We got about six minutes left here on the timer for our ratatouille and our garlic bread. Timing is everything, folks. Um, and here we go, we're going to the finish line. from the heat, they're ready. But now it's time for the main event. Grab you a rat too. Slowly, slowly. Oh, 
hat. Look at that, baby. Woo! Let's go. One more. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, one right. more. One more for the sound, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, that shit's fine. This needs Parmesan. This is a secret ingredient. This is not traditional. Gotcha. Go ahead, but anything can use, use a little... Everything can use a little cheese. Yeah, man, come on. Here, here, move your, move your hand a little bit. There you go. I just put it right over your thing, didn't I? It's all good, Bubba. All right. That's enough for this. Well, yeah, you can you use a little. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out our garlic bread. Yeah, toss it right in. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh yeah. Need to Look at more those. Minutes. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna My put goodness. a tiny bit of this parm on top of this garlic bread. You, you're joking. Yeah. You are joking right now, the way yeah. that smells. Yeah, that smells good. Now. Justice. You're I, joking. I can't joke about these things. I'm gonna kiss you right now. I mean, I would welcome it, honestly. Look at that. Oh, that was a little heavy handed. No, I've been eyeing that piece <laughs> all night, baby. That was the one for you? Okay, and now it's also time for our parsley. Uh, grab, our, grab some parsley. This guy right here. Back in, two more minutes. Just to melt that cheese up. Two more minutes. Chives. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Look at the color. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my god. I'm so glad we're sharing this moment. Man, this is special. I'm just so happy. Like... Look at how beautiful! I mean, you could tell me, who are you gonna put that down in front of? Like, you put that on a table in front of all your guests, and what are they gonna say other than, wow, that's beautiful, I'm so excited to eat this. They're gonna say- They got no other words. They say, I love you, Zach. I, I'm sorry I never expressed my love to you in real life, but- They're gonna say, Zach, get back in the cupboard. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yo, cheers, son. My guy. My guy. Look at this. We did this. We did this. I mean, take a closer look at everything we've done. So walk me through this real quick again. This is ratatouille. This is a Italian chicken sausage. This is garlic bread. This is the best meal that you will serve to you and your friends all year, I promise. This is Nuance Magazine. <laughs> this is Dreamer Boy. This is Worldwide. just a slump. Worldwide. This is 2021. This is <laughs> no, but, uh, this is tequila. Yo, we started on yeah, this is tequila. Wine. <laughs> this is tequila. Yo, man, thank, thank you for having me on this episode. Dude, thank of, uh, you. What, I mean, what's your show called? I mean, it's I called In Good Taste. Welcome in Good to Taste. Yeah. Oh my God. So go, thank y'all for uh, tuning in. Yeah, go see me on the YouTube and go yeah. see him on tour and listen to his album on Spotify. And he's got a new EP he's working on. Mm -hmm. You haven't even heard about it yet. Yeah, you're hearing about it now for the first time. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Mm.